Playing Splinter Cell Chaos Theory versus Online is now incredibly easy, and I'm going to show you how to do it in just two minutes. In this video, you'll hear Enhanced and Reloaded mentioned. Reloaded is a patch that adds online play, fixes rendering and mouse input, supports widescreen and hide frame rates, and simplifies setup. Enhanced is a standalone version of Versus with reloaded, pre-installed, and gameplay balance tweaks, offering everything you need to play out of the box. A link to download the latest version of Enhanced is in the description. Once the download is complete, right-click the file and select Extract All. Then, choose a folder where you want to keep your game. If you don't see the option to extract the file, you'll need to install 7-Zip. Avoid extracting to program files as this can prevent the game from launching. Go to the folder where you extracted the game, open the system folder, and run scct underscore versus application. If you're using Windows Defender, Smart Screen might warn you that the app is unrecognized. To bypass this, click More Info, then Run Anyway. If it's your first time launching the game, you'll need to create a new profile. You could skip the tutorial by pressing back, but it's recommended to complete it if you're new to Chaos Theory Versus. At this point, you could just jump straight into the game, but there are a few things you'll want to configure first. From the main menu, select Tutorials, then visit a map, and click Launch. Open the console by pressing the tilde key or the backtick key, depending on your keyboard type. If you're having trouble finding it, it's the key located to the left of the number one on your keyboard. The console configures settings not found in the menus, and you will need to know a few commands. Help displays all available commands. Current shows your current settings, and Sends configures your mouse sensitivity. You can also increase the frame limit beyond the default 60 by exploring the available commands. Press the Escape key to close the console, and you're ready to join games. If you want to host, when you create a session, the chat box will let you know if port forwarding was done automatically, and list the ports to forward manually if not. You may see a pop-up asking if you want to allow network access. Select Allow or you won't be able to play online. And that should be it. You should now be able to play Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Versus. If anybody has any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below.